What's up, everybody? This is some mask guy. I'm doing my first uh, commentary playthrough, and I'm going to be playing a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game called Overnight. As far as I'm aware, um, this is just a demo, and they've only ever released a demo of this, and it's so it's just one night. But it's a free roam Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. And even though it's a bit old, I thought it would be an appropriate first thing for me to commentate on is me getting jump scared. I'm not the best at dealing with horror games in general, so this should be interesting. Um, before we get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about some things going on with the channel, so I'll put a timestamp in. When I'm editing the video and so you can just skip to the gameplay if you're not interested in kind of hearing my little spiel about what's coming up but for those of you who are interested on what's going on in the channel um, I recently got a capture card and so I have a bunch of games that I've been recording with that and I plan on also starting doing a bit of commentary gameplay. Um, I'm probably going to switch off with some games having the normal style that I've had beforehand of, of um, no commentary gameplay, but I do want to start doing some commentary playthroughs um, here soon. And so I'll be figuring out how to do all that and trying to put that all together. And I also do apologize for uh, my upload schedule. I do like trying to have an upload every day, but unfortunately I've just been a bit behind with life and editing and doing a lot of things that I just need to catch up on right now. And so I'm hoping to get back on schedule soon of being able to have an upload uh, up every day sometime in the afternoon, but... Uh, we'll see. I'm doing my best to get back on track with that. And so, we'll just hop into it. It'll take a little bit to load, so I'll probably see you in a little bit. Alright, and now we're in the game. Hello? Hey man, it's Mike. Uh, you asked me to call you when I got inside the pizzeria? Hey mate, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a few tips to get you started and where to find things. Are you the main entrance now? Yeah, I am. Great. So, the main things for you are in the security Ah, office. lovely. You'll find the security tablets and all that stuff. Let me know when you get to the office and I'll show you a few more things. There are two main halls straight ahead and the office is right at the end. It doesn't matter which hall you go down, they both get to the same place. Alright, thanks man. place is kind of creepy. There's Pirate Cove. I'm assuming the office is back here like usual. Okay, I'm in the office. Um, how do I get yep. the camera monitors working? Oh, right. Well, there's a tablet on the table for you to use. Pick that up, and I'll show you how to use it. However, it should be pretty much self-explanatory. Alright, I got it. Okay, right. so, uh, you can see all the rooms on there. Just click on the ring you want to monitor, and you'll be able to see it. Okay, so I remember seeing in the ad in the paper that these animatronics kind of walk around. It's kind of creepy, and I was just worried about this. Yes, sir. If you check the cameras, shut the doors when necessary. Okay, but the 500 bucks a night better be legit because this shit is already kind of creeping me out. <laughs> yes, mate, I completely understand. No, no, it's completely safe, don't you worry. I mean, there are some issues. I mean, you know, they can be a little bit dangerous, but you've got two really big heavy doors which will help you and you can close them any time you want. Well, as long as you've got power, there is a slight issue where the power might run out at around 3 o'clock in the morning. But it's not a big happening, you go to the backstage room, you can locate that using the tablet and the camera, and uh, in there there should be a lever, if you pull that, it will reset your power back to 100%, so everything will be okay. Now, you'll have to leave the office in order to do this, which sounds a little bit scary, but if you check the cameras, 
Okay, man. Sounds like I can handle this. Great. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. There's one thing I need to mention. And what's that? I suggest you check the camera or pirate code from time to time. The animatronic in there tends to be his head out the curtain until he's ready to come out. So at this point, I suggest as soon as you see his head out, make sure you're in the office so you're prepared to shoot the door him. Yeah, okay. Why is that? Does he chase after me or something? Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he does. Uh, the character seems to hold a bit of a grudge. Never knew why the Yeah, don't regard you to be honest. Anyway, you should really get going. I'm not going to go anywhere. Uh, so I'll talk to you soon. Talk tomorrow night. Cheers. Okay. Bye, man. This entire thing is bullshit. Where's the food? Alright, well, I guess now we're just hopping right into it. Also, something that I didn't mention in the intro was I did want to say that it's like, um, you guys will have to let me know how uh, my mic quality is. I kind of, you know, I'm just new to this and don't have the best mic, but, you know, working with what I've got. So, yeah, please let me know um, how the mic quality is. I'm also just basically using a headset and OBS so if you have any tips on things that might be able to improve the quality then also let me know about that but I do appreciate it and now we're just hopping right in Bonnie's moving I don't know if they can go down either hallway because I know in the normal game, it's usually you got Bonnie Foxy on your left and Freddy Chica on the right. So I'm not quite sure how uh, how this one works out, but now I guess we're just going to find out together. I don't know which is more scary, you know, having like VR doing this kind of kind of stuff or having like these free rooms. I think both are equally scary in their own right. Oh, there's Foxy a little bit. I do hear Bonnie moving around. No, oh, it's still just Bonnie moving around. Although he might be coming down here. I am interested to see how resetting the generator is going to work. <laughs> he kind of came out of nowhere. I thought that was Bonnie. That was actually Foxy, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I almost panicked for a second. I was like, what is happening?
It's almost time for me to have to reset the generator. I think with this kind of thing, um, it doesn't really matter if they get into my the office or not. I think it's just, you know, I can't let them catch me. At least that's the impression I'm under. Oh, he's actually... Yep. <laughs> That's always slightly terrifying. Get interesting. Can I, st I can't check the cameras actually. I need him to go to the right. Please, body, please. I can barely see him back there. He's just right in front of the stage. Uh oh. He was chasing me. Now is this the lever or is this just a door? Oh. That's it. Oh crap. <laughs> that was poor timing. <laughs> Alright, but I got a hang of it. I think I got it. Alright, and we're back. Just hopping right back into it. I'm curious on what you guys think of the FNAF series as well as, you know, the movie that came out. Honestly, I'm a pretty big fan. Uh, if you can't tell by the fact that I'm playing <laughs> one of the fan games and I I am doing a playthrough of Juniors as well which is another fan game um, it is a no commentary playthrough of Juniors so I do also have I do also have a uh, series of that so if you're interested you can go check that out I'll leave a link in the description but I've also seen some other really good fan names fan games I think uh, some that come to mind are the glitched attraction and the joy of creation which both would be interesting to play so let me know if you guys would want to see me play some of those fan games as well because I'd definitely be more than happy to it's kinda interesting I didn't see Freddy or Chica move um, I believe they can move in the demo even though this is technically night one but maybe it's just late in the night that they really start moving. I remember I also played a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's free roam game for Five Nights at Freddy's 2 that was also very <laughs> very hectic so that could also be another 
um, fun one to play if you guys kind of want a continuation to this little series. You know, you'll just have to let me know. I feel like I just have to be so careful of Foxy. He just goes so fast. Although I guess Bonnie is coming right now. That was that man. <laughs> man, that's just so unsettling how he just sits there. Also, I don't know like when it's technically safe. Not gonna lie, that made me jump. <laughs> I literally just panned off of him too, and he immediately just beelined it for me. I think he's going. Oh, he's going to the kitchen. I almost wonder if it's like a good idea to try and run out of power closer to like 3 a.m. because I actually preserved my power till about four and I think ironically that was the the death of me because Foxy was already ready to attack me again because I had to get Bonnie's attention away from the storage room just didn't work out well yeah this is gonna kinda suck cause he's right at the stage Okay. I'm gonna try and lure him away. Oops, wrong key. Okay. I should be able to outrun him and close the door. There we go. Nice. Oh, hi Foxy. I am curious to see if the others are going to move. I also really do want to like just have that camera on Foxy cuz I want to see what it looks like when he like runs after me. I've only gotten like the audio cues. Because power goes down really quick, so I don't want to waste my power because I don't have another reset. Mm. There we go. Kind of just glitched the camera. So I wonder if it is just Bonnie and... Foxy that you gotta worry about. Because it doesn't look like the other ones are moving at all. I don't think uh, Foxy's gonna have time come after us again, so I think we just need to watch. 
where Bonnie's going, and I think we should be good. Oh, he's just frozen. All right. Now, where is the exit? Here we go. Nice. Now, like I said at the beginning, I don't think there was ever, ever any other nights release for this game, but I do really like the potential that it has. Definitely gave me some good jumps here and there. everybody for watching and be looking in the future for more uh, content trying to switch up some of the content as well and hopefully be adding some commentary playthroughs here pretty soon as well um, let me know if you want to see more horror games or FNAF fan games just let me know I'd be glad to play some more but thanks everybody I'll see you next time